Barclays ready? Now, don't you worry about us. Oh, we ain't, are we, Jerry? <laughs> no, we ain't worried about them Barclays at all, Zach. <laughs> Three years running. Our ranch is one the rodeo. We're going to do it again just to keep you Barclays humble. Oh, no, I wouldn't count on that. I mean, you Mortons may be in for a little spry. Uh, it seems to me I recollect like you saying the same thing last year. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep on laughing. Nick? Now. My papa says you Barclays are sporting. Well, now your papa is right. What is your sport? Well, I got a thousand that says we win the rodeo. And I got five says you don't. A thousand? A thousand. You got a bet? You got you a bet. What was that all about? Huh? Oh, you, you, mean, you mean the Mortons? The Mortons. Yeah, well, it was just a little sporting proposition on the rodeo. Was uh huh. How much? Well, five hundred thousand. Want a piece of it? You got to be out of your mind. You don't want a piece of it. Well, somehow I have a little feeling about this rodeo. Who had a little feeling about last year's rodeo? And how much did that cost? Oh, well, now that was different. This year the Mortons. The are Mortons gonna... are going to walk all over us, and you know it. Zach baited you, and you bit. What would you have done? Past. Past. Nick, will you use your head? They're even stronger this year, and two of our hands are laid up. Well, now, whose side do you on? Ours, ours, but we haven't got a prayer. They've recruited every cowboy between here and Waco. Uh oh. I can win that rodeo for you. Joshua Watson. Baha. time you got back. I just got a little busy in town, so all thank you. You always get busy in town when there's work to be done here. You're gonna thank me for it this time. For what? For Joshua. Joshua Watson. Be my brother Heath. Howdy. He's gonna win that rodeo for us single-handed. Well, that's a pretty big chore. Uh-huh. Can you rope? Better than most. You ever do any bulldogging? One more than my share. Can you ride a bronc? That's my best. That's your best, huh, Josh? Well, now, let's see. Charlie? Nick, wait a minute. Uh, Charlie! Yeah, Nick? Saddle up a baton and bring him here, will you? Uh, Charlie! I said saddle up a baton and bring him here. I'll give my hand. All righty. Nick, what are you trying to prove? Oh. Man's word, he said uh, that was his best. But you know, Archie and Dale both got busted up trying to ride that horse. Mm. You going to ride that horse? Yep. Do you know what you were doing? I know. They call that horse a bad one. The name means devil. Hold it. It's 
horse has got a lot of spirit. I would say, yeah. No, I never rode a horse before to prove a point. Oh? What do I get for breaking him? Name it. How about the horse? <laughs> All right. You break him, he's yours. All right. You don't have to ride him. Well, I've been riding the devil all my life, he. He ain't throwed me yet. Mister, you gotta be the best to ride this horse. <laughs> or crazy. <laughs> Turn him out! <laughs> Ride that horse. Haven't you had enough? Ain't a man can't beat road, but ain't a horse can't be road. Mm. Easy, horse. Easy, boy. Ain't no need to fight. Cause I'm gonna break you. All right, stay with him, Josh. Riding Joshua. <laughs> I think he's got him. I think we just won ourselves a rodeo. Walk, horse. Walk proud for the people. Walk on, boy. Good boy. And ride, why, this man's got to be the greatest mustanger ever. Well, is there anything this Joshua Watson can do? <laughs> he can rope, bust Bronx, why, he can even pull butter. Did he really ride a bad one? He had that horse eaten out of his hand two minutes after he stepped on it. Well, how does he measure up to the Mortons? Better. You ask Keith when he comes in. But then we have a chance of winning this year. Well, well, there's Joshua riding for us. We have a chance. Sure you wouldn't like to make a little bet, Jared? No, I wouldn't like to make a little bet. As a matter of fact, I'd feel a lot better if we called this whole thing off. For the first time in four years, we have a chance of winning this rodeo, and he wants to call it off. Why? Because it stopped being just a contest between two ranches. The whole thing's getting out of hand. Because I made a bet. No. Well, all the hands out there have made bets, too, you know. Nick, it has nothing to do with the betting. Now, you remember what happened last year, that fight with the Mortons in the saloon? Uh, boys were just letting off little steams, huh? Uh-huh. And then what followed that? They salted our water holes. We had to spook their cattle. We should have done worse. Nick, can't you see what's happening? This isn't a rodeo anymore. It's turning into a feud. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Four years ago, we started this rodeo as a constructive way of handling the rivalry between us and the Mortons. Now, if it hasn't worked out, perhaps we should call it off. Mother, this rodeo is my responsibility. I'm not about to call it off. Nick, what if somebody gets killed? That is also my responsibility. Sure you wouldn't like to make a little bet? Oh, you mm. hard-headed. <laughs> Are you going to keep laughing like a blamed hyena all night long? I can't help it, Paul. I keep thinking about Nick Barkley. You know, he ain't ever going to learn his lesson. Man's got pride. You can't fault him for that. I ain't faulting him. It's his money that's going to buy us that new breeding stock in Denver. And, uh, I guess you plan to, uh, Go to Denver yourself and pick up those credits. Yeah, you, Jay. 
It's a pretty long trip to Denver. A couple of young fellas could get into trouble in a wild town like that. Well, we sure aim to try. You know something? Barkley's got no monopoly on pride. You boys have done everything. And I've asked of you and more. And you've raised up just like I hoped you would. Tough, skilled, and you don't know the meaning of the word lose. Uh. Hey, Paul? Is that? In here, son. Boy, I'm not glad you're up. Hey, where you been? Well, I've been in town. I was with a bunch of them Barclay hands. First off, I thought they was all drunk. They try and jump you, son? No, Pa. They all wanted a bet on the rodeo. Won't you tell them to line up? Well, yeah, sure. Told them they could bet any amount they wanted. I didn't figure it out till later. And then I found out they got this new hand out there. A black man. By the name of Joshua Watson. Talk is he's the greatest rodeo rider that ever got up into a saddle. Did you see him? No, I didn't see him, but... Oh, now one black man ain't gonna scare us off. I got three champions riding for us and paying them more money than they've ever seen. Well, Pa, that's what bothers me. They know who we got riding for us, but they're betting on this Watson fella. They ain't any smarter than Nick Barkley. I know every good rider in the country, and I never heard of a Joshua Watson. You? No. <laughs> well, you can just stop your worrying, J.R., and just tell them to keep sending in the bets. Pa, I ain't worried. Ah! Well, okay, okay. Anyway, I, I figure he's as good as they say he is. We can always hire him for ourselves. Right, Pa? <laughs> <laughs> like I was telling your brother, a Morton doesn't know the meaning of the word lose.